In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create four options infographic slide in PowerPoint and this is how the slide works. As you can see here, I've added one uh, wooden background here and then one uh, rope which is hanging. And when I click the first heart shape comes, you can see here I've added some icon, some title and the detailed text and at the bottom I've added some shadow effect. When I click with a different color combination, the second option comes, the third option and the fourth option so depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease these options and if you have not subscribed to my channel powerpoint university please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon you can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section i have used office 2019 version to do this so let's start the tutorial add a new slide go to insert shapes from the lines i'm going to choose this free form shape click this end and till the end here to the right side and double click this one and then shape outline you can increase the weight all right and then i'm going to give a curve shape here for that right mouse click edit points and you can see two edit points here uh, click on the left edit point and then just drag this somewhat down and here also i'm going to drag this somewhat down so we end up getting a, a curve shape like this a curved line all right then go to insert shapes uh, from the basic shapes i'm going to choose this heart shape draw the heart shape okay depending on your requirement you can increase or decrease the size shape outline make it no outline shape fill you can make it a red color or if you want you can make it a gradient fill also for that right mouse click go to format shape under fill select the gradient fill and only two stops i'm going to use it so delete the two stops the first stop i'm going to make it a kind of a dark red okay and here i'm going to choose the the red color all right so you can see here and if you want more darker you can increase this uh, uh, the stop and then depending on the direction how you want i want something like this so uh, uh, the gradient fill comes from the right the dark side to the left which is the lighter side okay again if you want to resize we can resize it and then i'm going to keep it here and then i'm going to add one kind of a clip where it we we, we hang with uh, that particular clip so go to insert shapes i'm going to select one a rectangle draw one rectangle like this you can see here maybe this much size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give any color of your choice maybe i can give a kind of let me just go to more fill color you've got different uh, variety here whichever color which you feel maybe a uh, this color a kind of a brown and then what i'm going to do is i'm just going to cut it from one end let me just zoom in you can see it looks like this so go to insert shapes select one more rectangle and cut only this much okay select the shape hold the shift key select the small blue rectangle merge shape and subtract it okay so it looks something like this and if you want to give some 3d format you can come to the effects uh, 3d rotation uh, go to the preset scroll down and maybe you can choose this one and go to the 3d format you can increase the depth okay so it looks like this you can see here and press ctrl d to duplicate rotate it a little bit okay and put it like this it should look like a clip send this to back all right and then if you want further you can just move it a little bit at the top and for example if you want to rotate the other side it's up to you whichever way you want you can see here it looks like a clip here all right so once this is done i'm going to select all this shape press ctrl d to duplicate move it here okay ctrl d again this is the third heart shape and this is the fourth heart shape so depending on the requirement now you can just change any color of your choice so i'm going to give maybe a dark green uh, with a lighter green combination you can see here you here you can give maybe a kind of uh, say a, maybe a orange or a purple with 
some different color combination you can just choose any color combination as you like maybe this one okay so once this is done we need to do the the add the text and some uh, animations to it so first of all let me just go to insert and i'm going to make it a text box and you can add the title here title 01 center align make it bold increase the size and then you can insert text box you can add detail text here center align reduce the font size and put it here so now both of this i'll select press ctrl d to duplicate ctrl d for this option and ctrl d here all right and one more thing which you can do is you can go to insert icons you can just choose any icons of your choice so randomly i'm going to choose any icons so one two maybe uh, three and four click insert and reduce the size to maybe 0.5 and then i'm just going to put one by one here you can see and if it is not visible then we need to change the font the icon color select this one graphic fill make it white all right so you can see here with this we have completed the design now if you like to add some uh, background effect so for that go to insert shapes select one rectangle draw the rectangle covering the whole slide go to picture or texture fill click on insert select the online picture and i'm going to type say wooden background all right so wooden background and then depending on your requirement you can just choose whichever the best uh, fit for your slide all right you can see here we have got lots of different varieties or if you are having something in your local pc you can just choose that particular slide as well oh, sorry the image okay i'm just selecting this one click insert okay and then send this to back so it looks like this and this blue thread or uh, is not visible i'm going to make it a white all right and if you want to increase the size you can increase it and you need to group this one press ctrl g and just send this to back send back okay so that the thread should be visible or we can just select the thread or bring it to front also whichever way bring to front okay and then we need to just bring it only this one bring to front right like this we need to make it and here also let me just ungroup this and then bring to front yeah you can see here it looks like okay this is the the hard shapes are are hanging with the help of this uh, clip all right so then once this is done i'm just going to select this full shape you can see here the first one press ctrl g to group it the only problem is when you group it this will go back okay again so you need to just send this to back again but the only problem is this particular thread will be not uh, clearly it looks like that it is not uh, hanging with the thread so maybe we need to adjust it a little bit and uh, somehow we need to manage that one or we need to add one more thread at the top okay so you can add the animation for example once you group it go to the animations and i'm going to say fly in fly in maybe you can make it from left all right it looks like that same thing you have to just uh, group this one and do the animation part